Haunted Bridge Horror Story The night was dark and gloomy as Jack made his way toward the old bridge. It was said to be haunted, a place where people claimed to have seen dark shadows lurking while crossing. Many believed it was cursed, a gateway to the netherworld. But Jack, a skeptic by nature, dismissed these stories as mere superstition. He had heard tales of the bridge's eerie history, tales that sent shivers down his spine. Decades ago, a young couple had perished on that very spot, under mysterious circumstances. Rumors suggested that their spirits haunted the bridge, forever trapped in a limbo between the worlds of the living and the dead. As Jack reached the entrance of the bridge, an unnerving silence enveloped the air. The sound of his footsteps echoed, causing a chill to crawl up his spine. He hesitated for a moment, then shrugged off his fears, and stepped onto the worn-out wooden planks. The bridge creaked under his weight, adding an eerie symphony to the night. The darkness engulfed him, making it hard to see more than a few feet ahead. But Jack pressed on, determined to prove that there was nothing paranormal about this place. Midway across the bridge, a bone-chilling wind picked up. It whistled through the trees, rustling the leaves and creating an otherworldly chorus. Jack quickened his pace, his heart pounding in his chest. He could feel an inexplicable presence as if eyes were watching him from the shadows. Suddenly, a figure materialized in front of him, emerging from the darkness. It was a woman, her face obscured by a long, tattered veil. Jack froze in his tracks, his breath caught in his throat. The woman's presence exuded an icy coldness, sending waves of terror through his body. Who, who are you? Jack managed to stammer, his voice barely audible. The woman's voice was a whisper, filled with sorrow and despair. Leave this place, young man. It is not safe. Jack, still in disbelief, mustered the courage to respond. I don't believe in ghosts. Show yourself. With a mournful sigh, the woman lifted her veil, revealing her hollow eyes and pale, lifeless face. You have been warned, she whispered, her voice echoing in the darkness. Before Jack could react, the woman vanished, leaving him standing alone on the bridge. He felt a sudden gust of wind, accompanied by a blood-curdling scream that seemed to pierce his very soul. Panic took hold of him as he stumbled backward, desperately trying to escape the bridge's grasp. As he reached the safety of solid ground, Jack turned to look back at the bridge. To his horror, he saw a multitude of dark shadows emerging from beneath it. They swirled and twisted, forming a grotesque mass of malevolent energy. The bridge itself seemed to contort, its wooden planks morphing into skeletal fingers reaching out for him. Fear consumed Jack as he realized the true nature of the bridge. It was a gateway, a portal to the realm of the dead. The spirits that haunted it were not merely restless souls. They were entities of darkness, yearning to claim more victims. Desperation fueled his escape as Jack sprinted away from the bridge, his heart pounding in his ears. He could hear the wails and moans of the spirits growing louder behind him, their presence closing in. But he refused to look back, knowing that doing so would seal his fate. Breathless and drenched in sweat, Jack reached the safety of his home. He locked the door, hoping to keep the horrors of the bridge at bay. But the nightmare was far from over. That night, as Jack lay in bed, his room filled with an unearthly chill. Shadows danced along the walls, whispering his name in hushed, ghostly tones. The door creaked open, revealing the figure of the woman he had encountered on the bridge. You should have listened, she murmured, her voice a spectral echo. Jack's blood ran cold as the room filled with more spirits, their eyes glowing with malevolence. They advanced toward him, their ghostly hands reaching out for his trembling body. In that moment, Jack realized the true horror of the haunted bridge. It was not a place one could escape. Its curse followed you, haunting your every step until it claimed your soul. The next morning, the townspeople found Jack's lifeless body, a look of terror etched onto his face. His death was ruled as a mysterious accident, but those who knew of the haunted bridge, understood the truth. The bridge had claimed another victim, its hunger for souls insatiable. And so, the legend of the haunted bridge continued to send shivers down the spine of all who dared cross its treacherous path, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked within the shadows of the world.